Shout out to our sponsor, G2A.com. If you were looking for discounted games all in one place, I'll leave a relink down for you in the description below. What's up, Internet? Standard TV here, keeping you guys in the know because Xbox does more 180s than it does ones. Xbox originally announced on the Xbox stage that any future Microsoft, and it was also in a blog post, so it was on their blog and they said it on the E3 stage that any future game developed by Microsoft Studios will be available on Windows 10 and on Xbox One. And not only that, that if you bought the game on Xbox One, you get the game for free on the PC copy or vice versa. If you buy it, yeah. And not only that, but your saves will be saved to the cloud so they can easily transfer. Well, now they've changed that statement to say only the games that we showed at E3 this year will be playable on Xbox One and Windows 10. Sneaky Microsoft. So let's talk about the games that weren't shown at E3, like Crackdown, a new Halo, Halo 7 or whatever. You, there's so many franchises that Microsoft does. <laughs> now you don't know whether they're going to show up on Windows 10 or not. And I know a lot of PC fans were waiting to get their hands on Halo finally. Maybe not. Perhaps not. Probably more than likely not because that, that shooter has been so indoctrinated into the console shooting, which I'm okay with, but a lot of PC gamers aren't, so it probably wouldn't be as good on the PC. I, I don't know. I wanted to report on this so bad last week, but there just wasn't enough time. Uh, yeah, so this isn't the first time, of course, Microsoft has went back on its word. Remember when they first announced their console back in 2013 and they were talking about how it was always going to be online DRM. You had to have your Xbox online all the time. You couldn't operate your Xbox without a connect. And we're just, we, we want you to focus on TV because that's what this Xbox is going to do better and ever since then it's been all about games and reversing those policies on used games wow Microsoft is Xbox way to go uh, Phil Spencer <laughs> he's really turned around that department I and mean, it's hard to give them a whole lot of grief but this from saying any future developed Microsoft Studios game is going to be play anywhere to saying oh no only the ones we just showed this year that's it's quite interesting <laughs> maybe they were too consumer friendly maybe they needed to give people a reason to buy the xbox one s or the xbox one scorpio coming up um because sooner or later games are going to be exclusive on xbox scorpio even though they say no player left behind that's bullshit all right, <laughs> I could tell you right now that's bullshit. And the future game that that gets exclusive to Xbox One Scorpio, that's not going to be on the Xbox One S. It's not going to be on the original Xbox One. Those games aren't going to go on the Windows 10. And the reason is, is because they accept the fact that they lost this generation, man. They have lost it. PlayStation One. Oh, let's just give them the glory and try to sell software until then until <laughs> we are finally established in the next console cycle with the xbox one and scorpio that's what's going on i bet you anything guys anyway let me know what you think down in the comments below while you're hanging out there in the comments don't forget to rate comment and subscribe on the video well yeah give give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button it, it's, it's it's down there somewhere Anyway, and follow me over at Twitter at Stando TV and over at Twitch, twitch.tv slash Stando TV. Guys, what do you think about Xbox? <laughs> Backtracking again. <laughs> oh, man. I love your face, guys. We'll catch you next time. Have a good one.